that's brilliant stuff. So is there, you, you've talked about a lot of stuff and a lot of the work that you've been doing here, both of you, on, on the Bella Moss Foundation. And um, when, when this airs, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be very interested. Is there, is there a central hub or somewhere where people can, can go to get involved, to get information? It's the Bella Moss Foundation, um, and, and it's uh, www.thebellamossfoundation.com. Um, and it's it's a, a much better website, and there's a vet section separate to the general public section. Right. And if you are a vet and you want to go there and take a look at our infection control guidelines, and we do have an app that you can download, and the download is all there and easily accessible. There is no charge for anything. Um, Chris, would you like to just mention something about the self audit app here because it's your passion as well? Yeah, practices need to be able to assess how effectively they're doing. Mm -hmm. So the app allows you to go room by room and answer questions uh, in each room that are relevant to that room. And it then gives you a score at the end of the day so that you then you can do the thing routinely so that you can check that your hygiene, your biosecurity is up to speed and kept up to speed. And that, and that would be useful for the RCVS practice standards, wouldn't it? Sorry for interrupting you. Well, yes. Words, the... words out of my mouth. I was just about to say, and actually, if you want uh, to, to prove your biosecurity for practice standards, then uh, you, you simply keep the downloads and it can show you the, the, the progress from where you were to where you've got to and that you're maintaining it. It was designed by Pam Mosdale, who's one of our advisors, mm. who was a, a long time at RCVS Practice Standards Scheme, um, and also Dr. Tim Knuckle, and the late Louise O'Dwyer, and I need to get this in. We had a wonderful, wonderful person. Louise yeah. O'Dwyer helped us with our infection control guidelines and our audit app, and sadly we lost her about a year ago, but she was a wonderful, wonderful valued member of the Balamos Foundation. Well, very, very sadly missed, mm. uh, Louise. Yeah, the, the resources on your website, I have to say, um, are amazing. Um, there are posters to download. There are charts to download and standard operating procedures from the practice point of view. Which are all going to be updated later this year. Okay, mm -hmm. that's excellent. I bet. So when you, if you go through the infection control app and you, you go through and say you can download, do you get a certificate at the end? Um, not so much a certificate, <laughs> but yeah, actually, <laughs> practice standard scheme have recommended our audit app as a resource, um, and um, it would be very hard to issue certificates. But I do think it's very popular because we know lots of people are doing it, um, and people are going back in to redo it uh, as well. And I think the idea of that is what you can do is is have um, a, a meeting with all of your staff and discuss what you're doing um, and keep repeating it and, and keep that communication going, which is probably better than a certificate at the end of the day. No, it's not. We've oh, got a certificate. Well, the certificate's very good. I've got one here. Yeah, certificates are great. We, we've got a certificate. We've <laughs> this received, is, lots, we've this received is the... lots of CPD tonight that yeah. you can present to the RCVS to go down as your part of your CPD log. Yeah. 